Hi again everyone, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a site search function for your website by using the site search tool. And that tool is found in, in the extra tools right here called site search. And what we did was we drug this tool out onto the canvas and we made a field for people to type in a keyword where they could search the site and um, find all of the pages that that particular keyword appears on this website. Now in the previous video, I showed you there, I told you there are three ways to present those results and we did two of them already. In fact, in that video, I showed you how to produce the results in, a, in their own browser window and then there were some settings for that. We also demonstrated how to make the results appear in sort of a pop-up jQuery dialog box and we had a lot of different settings for that. But there was a third way we didn't cover in that video because it's a little more extensive and so we're going to do that now. That third way is the one here in the center that says show the results in an inline frame. Inline frame is also known as an iframe. In this video we're going to create a search function that produces the search results in an iframe because it really is a nice looking way to do it. So what I've done is I've left a blank area here on this page to put my iframe where my search results are going to appear. First thing we have to do is put an iframe there. And that's easy to do because we simply go up to the advanced tools and grab inline frame and just drag it onto the canvas like you do most objects. Okay, so there's our frame. Now what I'm hoping for is that when people type in a keyword here and hit return, this frame will populate with a list of search results of all of the pages on my website, including links to those pages that they can go to to find those topics. There's a problem though. Iframes don't automatically work unless you configure them to be associated with some kind of a page. In fact, I'm double clicking on it to show you how that works. An iframe can be associated with a website or an internal page. If I was to associate an iframe with an external website, it would look like this. This is going to be, this window here, is going to be a portal to this website right here. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to click F5 and preview this. So here's the page and here's the iframe. So as you can see, it's basically just pulling in the website into this window from the internet. That's how an iframe works. Obviously, that's not what we want to do in this particular application. What I'd rather have is just a blank area so that my search results will appear. So what I can do is I can associate this instead of with a website, I can associate it with one of my internal web pages that I've already set aside just for this use. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go out of this. I have actually created a web page and I called it results that has absolutely nothing on it because I don't need anything to be on it. I just want a blank, pure white web page in my case. And I'm going to use this page to be associated with the iframe so that when the search results appear, it looks nice on my page. Here's what I mean. I'm going to double click on the iframe. I'm going to associate it with an internal page called results. That's my blank page. And now when I preview, there we go. Now my iframe is associated with the page because it has to be associated with something or it'll get an error or it won't show anything at all. But I want it to show this blank white area. So it's actually being associated right now and showing that blank page. And that makes it really nice for when we use it to show results. Here's how that works. So let's look for content, the word Forex. I'm gonna hit enter and there you go. It was very fast. So here's a list of all the pages that have the word Forex on my website. And if I click one of these links, I'll go right to that page. Nice and smooth. In fact, I'm gonna click the back button and go back to my results page. If I click here, I go right to that page. This is a great way to present your search results. Now I'm gonna do that again. Let me close this preview. Let's get back into our design mode. And you can see all we have done is we have chosen to show the results in an inline frame and then I pull down and chose the inline frame that I want to use because I may have more I may have more than one iframe on my website and if I do there'll be a list of them here so when I created this iframe it was named inline frame by default I could rename it if I want to okay Greg's iframe and when I go to associate that iframe you can see there it is 
So all I've done is I've chosen to show the results in an iframe of my choosing, clicked OK, and that's really it. It's done. Let me show you one more time. This time I'm going to use the word opportunity because I know that fewer results come up for this word. So you can see what that would look like. Sure enough, there's only one page on this website that has the word opportunity on it, and so it was presented here. So this is just a great, smooth way for people to be able to search the content on your site, but for you to control how it's displayed with, without them having to click through a lot of pages or a lot of pop-ups and whatnot. So this is a great way to provide uh, search for your website using the 90 Second Website Builder interface.